India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated six strategic bridges in Jammu and Kashmir. The move comes as a new revolution in connectivity in sensitive border areas. The inauguration happened through video conferencing, keeping in mind the COVID-19 outbreak. The six bridges had been completed by the Border Roads Organisation. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated all the ranks of the Border Force, Border Roads Organisation, for completing the construction of six bridges in record time. He complimented them for contributing towards nation building by working in the most difficult terrain and weather conditions. He said, and I quote, roads and bridges are the lifeline of any nation and they play a vital role in the socio-economic development of far flung regions, end quote. He also said that these roads and bridges in the border regions of the country will help the government in its efforts to reach the remotest areas. He also thanked the people of Jammu and Kashmir for their cooperation. Meanwhile, Chinese troops are using all-terrain walking excavators to speed up road building and other construction work in the Himalayan region. This comes as the Indian and Chinese troops begin the disengagement process along the line of actual control. Both India and China have been working on upgrading infrastructure at the line of actual control. The construction projects have led to a number of skirmishes between the border troops. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today invited the world to invest in India, saying that the economy was already showing green shoots of recovery. Prime Minister was addressing the inaugural event at the India Global Week 2020. On one hand, India is fighting a strong battle against the global pandemic with an increased focus on people's health we are equally focused on the health of the economy. When India talks of revival, it is revival with care, revival with compassion, revival which is sustainable both for the environment and the economy. This is an India that is reforming, performing and transforming. This is an India that offers new economic opportunities. This is an India that is adopting a human-centric and inclusive approach to development. India awaits you all.